What's up, Big Ponians? Matt Convoy here, and welcome back to Hangar 88. We are finishing up our build of the high grade elf bullock from Reconquista NG with all these parts laid out here. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, we're going to take the upper and lower torso, I'm going to plug it in right down. Take our legs and pop them in right here. Pop our arms in up top here. And finally, the pièce de résistance, the head, up top here. And there is one completed elf bullock. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm having trouble getting them all in frame here, just because he's uh, such a chunky, tall guy. Pretty good size for a uh, for a high grade 144 scale. But uh, we do have a couple other things to show off real quick. Uh, let's see. First of all, let's show off this little gimmick with the beam savers here. We're going to start by pulling this off, pulling this guy out. That's going to fold up on there. And let's see here. Same on this side. And we are going to take our beam saber effect piece. It's going to plug in there. And it's going to go in right here. And this guy is going to come in on top right there. There he is for that. So let me get the other side done. Epic beam saber legs. It's got going on there. And I really should have had this zoomed out further. Because again, just having trouble keeping this guy entirely in frame. But uh, yeah, there's that. And that is the reason why we got this bad boy right here. Let's see here. Let's get this going. And I did notice uh, earlier I had this arm in backwards. This uh, little clip there uh, is supposed to angle upwards. So anyway, let's see. So this is going to just going to plug on over on top of that clip. I'm not really going to use the clip itself at all. And it's just going to peg into the underside there. And see if I can, yeah. You can see, you got not even a full inch of clearance with those uh, sabers there on this stand. But yeah, there's that. There is that. Now we also have a little heroic. And now for this, got 
This booster pack plugs into the back right here. And there he is with that. This is also incorporated into the transformation, which I will now get to. Uh, first off, get this changed back up. Okay, it all holds together like that pretty well, so we'll need to take that apart. And I know I mentioned in the last video something about, you know, I don't like the... Uh, don't like the you know part swapping on a transformation but something like that that's very much understandable and now my microphone is on sorry about that guys alrighty so first off it's gonna have us unplug whoop yeah that happens too <laughs> Unplug this waste section, not there, but right there. Okay, that comes off the bottom. Legs pop off. Now, let's see. I'm going to flip up this little nose cone right here and move that little orange piece back so that it's got a little tab in there a little tab in there, I don't know if you can see it, but that's gonna go into a slot that's gonna lock that in place so it's not wobbling everywhere and we're going to put the replacement fin down and the head does push down inside of the chest part of that those orange bits that we stuck on top of the poly cap there now these are gonna swing up and down like so and then these arms we're gonna bring all the way up that nice 180 degree articulation there turn them like so Flip them up. And then we're going to take this section, pop the legs on, and then pop this little peg on right under here. And there is the flight mode for the elf bullock and of course can have it without the booster it's that little simple fighter there and nothing stopping you from popping on these wicked beam sabers here while in this mode definitely don't want to have a uh, near miss with this guy and to show off how he connects with the action base here we've got this uh, black piece right here again this is going to be for while he's got the boosters on but uh, there's this little peg right here tap or pegs into that little hole on the bottom of the transformed piece Again, that just holds the boosters straight up. This little slot right here that uh, goes on over that clip. And again, I'm sorry about the uh, how closely I'm zoomed in on this guy, but uh, but yeah, there that is. And of course, if you want to display it without the booster. Take this little piece right here, and the connector piece that we used before just pegs straight into that 
transform piece slides on over the clip and there he is and the instructions are also detailing where if you wanted to you can use a regular action base number two it's just a uh, plugs into that little slot right there if you decide you want to display it that way with one of those you can get a bit more uh, like swooping kind of angles with one of the action base twos get a bit more dynamic posing going on with that and of course if you'd like to attach it to an action base number one just pop in that one clip attachment slides on over it and there you go that probably you're more likely gonna wanna use that for the mobile suit mode For, uh, showing them off with those beam sabers We've got our Elf Bullock back in mobile suit mode to go over the articulation of it. Uh, we've got a full one or 360 degree uh, rotation on the head. We got some uh, can tilt a little bit to the side and forward and back just because of uh, how those uh, bits that we added on to the poly cap work. Uh, the uh, shoulders here, we've got very wide range of motion 360 rotation uh, can go up and down uh, 180 degree rotation up there uh, we've got this little section here that can uh, spin 360 degrees though I'm not sure why it doesn't really detail that at all in the uh, in the transformation but uh, and then as we did see in the transformation got one pretty much a 180 degree bend on the uh, elbow there and then we've got some wiggle room and uh, full rotation on the wrist uh, no real articulation to speak of on the uh, waist section which is uh, it's another reason why it kinda irks me a little bit this uh, part swapping deal that little f uh, faux joint in the back there that's just a solid uh, piece of the you know a solid block of the deal of the of that section uh, legs we do have up at the hips we got pretty much full 360 rotation there uh, it is a little bit hindered by the arms but uh, then we've got some wiggle room around there not a whole lot of uh, outward splaying uh, we've got about a 90 degree uh, bend on the knee which is 
a little disappointing since it doesn't, you know, because of the uh, design of the knee joint, that's partly why. And it seems like that could have been designed better for this kit. And uh, no real feet to speak of. We do have, excuse me, this little uh, heel that flips out here. If you want to stand them up, which he does very well, a lot better than his uh, successor, the Mac knife. But uh, then again, and I'm not even sure why they included these little brown pieces right here. They're supposed to go in here whenever you have the feet splayed open, but um, it, I really can't figure any reason for that other than they were supposed to get it some added stability but these uh, these little heels that's already built into it they're already pretty you know uh, nice uh, fairly tight joints uh, and just the way that they're engineered they're not gonna be moving that far out of place uh, too easily And to give you a bit of a size comparison here, here he is with the uh, with the RX-78 of the same scale, uh, and uh, you can see, can't really tell here, but his uh, bottoms of the uh, of the Elf Bullock's feet are kind of hanging off right below uh, the RX-78. Let me just push him up a little bit. His head's going to pop out of frame, almost, uh, but yeah, here. So you can see a little bit better there. They are lined up along the same line here, and he is uh, very much uh, head and shoulders uh, taller than your average mobile suit. So, like I said, this is a pretty this is a pretty sizable guy. He's definitely uh, pretty tall, uh, all things considered. And one more thing I want to start with uh, doing for you guys with this. Uh, kick the lights here. Do a little backlight shot. You're not really seeing a whole lot. Or black light uh, shot here. There's my thumb. But, uh, but yeah, you can see if you hit them with a black light, you can see those uh, beam sabers very very well uh, if you get it close enough I don't think yeah he's not really showing up on camera all that much but uh, you can also get uh, some interesting uh, or get it to glow a little bit with the orange bits on the uh, on the black light there it's, again it's not you're not seeing it on my camera here, so uh, so it's not a whole lot. But if you have one on hand, you hold it under a black light, you'll see uh, start seeing these orange areas around here start to light up, and uh, and not so much. Everything hates me today. <laughs> uh, not so much with my lamps going. Let me see. Yeah, depending on depending on your lighting, even in normal uh, house lighting, you can still uh, catch those uh, catch those beam sabers lighting up a little bit. Let me see here. Yeah, shows a little bit uh, under the black light. But yeah, uh, that's another thing that I want to start showing you guys on here. 
And just a couple more notes on this guy before we uh, close out. Um, yeah, it's a very fun, very fun kit, a fun build. Uh, it's a fun kit once you get it put together. It's just uh, for me personally, being a Transformers fan uh, for such a long time, the uh, the little part swapping uh, deal with the transformation gimmick just it really does feel like a cop out, especially with something this big. Um, and with you know having seen or or just you know having seen I feel like I've seen stuff more intricate than this in other high grade kits and just the, this whole part swapping thing just it, it really it just really grinds my gears uh whenever I see that and especially something again this is a pretty big chunky piece uh really don't see why that couldn't have been you know an actual you know why that couldn't have been articulated and such to the point where you know, you can actually move that around and pose it for the transformation. Maybe it has something to do with, uh, you know, wanting to use this little guy for, uh, to pose it on the action base. Um, and, you know, this little guy, this could have been, this also could have been avoided. Just a real, you know, quick, simple uh, snap-on hinge joint could have saved us the trouble on that but other than that it's it really is a fun kit it's uh, got some nice articulation it's got a very nice interesting design uh, a fun transformation uh, cop outs aside and it is very nice that it comes with this uh, big display base like we got with a uh, master grade wing zero to uh, help you display it with these big honking uh, beam sabers coming out of the legs there and also very nice that we get this uh, booster pack accessory here um, but again these little guys right here kinda kinda useless but uh, but yeah other than that this is a very a very good very fun kit it was a fun build and it's a fun figure to uh, handle once you've got it finished and that's all I got to say about that guys thank you so much for watching if you like this video beat that like button like it owes you money kick the annotation for more videos that I've done and smack that subscribe button to stay tuned for more videos coming up thanks again you guys and I will see you in the next video I'm doing my outro, the batteries run out.